this is Olga and in today's video I want to do a tour of our hotel here in Dominican Republic in Punta Cana so this hotel is Ocean Alfaro and right now I'm sitting here on the balcony uh, in this uh, very nice um, seating spot um, so today I'm gonna show you all around the hotel and tell you all about our trip so we were flying from uh, Vancouver to Toronto and from Toronto here to Punta Cana our airlines was Air Canada and right now to leave Canada you need to register on the website of the Dominican Republic and um, provide all of your data before entering the Dominican Republic and they give you the QR code so as you board the plane um, the officers are asking for this QR code and are asking you to register in case you haven't so our uh, tour operator was Air Canada Travel we booked our uh, trip on Expedia, so we just found this hotel. I watched a couple videos on YouTube, so videos like this helped us pick the hotel and helped us pick the best place. And that's why I thought I would make this video to show you guys around, to show how everything in this hotel looks and all of the restaurants and the beach and the ocean and everything else that we have here. Um, to come back to Canada, we have to make our PCR COVID tests. So we are fully vaccinated, but uh, Canada requires a test, a valid test that was done within um, 72 hours of your departure. So we did our test yesterday. We are uh, leaving tomorrow. Uh, hopefully we'll get the results today by the end of the day. So you have to have your valid test on you as well as your proof of vaccination. Um, the people who are fully vaccinated are um, not going to be on the quarantine so for us um, it's it's a good thing we won't have to stay quarantined for 14 days if you're not fully vaccinated though um, you will be required by the Canadian government to spend 14 days in quarantine before you arrive to Canada you have to fill out the arrive Canada app with all of your information, personal data, and also the PCR test information. So we are waiting on the test information to do that. And um, let's start our tour. Hi everyone, this is Olga and behind me is the Ocean Alfaro Hotel directly in the Dominican Republic in Punta Cana and in this video I want to do a whole review of the hotel. It was opened in 2018 and it features a great variety of rooms and also a great variety of dine-in restaurants and buffets as well as a spa with the idyllic beaches um, facing out the Atlantic Ocean. So let's take a look into the main lobby and we'll walk you through the room tour. We'll also show you the restaurants and the beach and the area around. Come on! So the hotel has its own parking lot right behind me. You have a lot of locals coming from different regions of Punta Cana to here and um, people are just parking here. They also have a butler service. So if you're coming in your own car, the person will park your car and will help you with your suitcase and with your belongings and everything. We came here on a tour bus. So we uh, arrived at the airport and then we got the number of the bus to go to and the bus took us directly to the entrance here. So let's take a look inside. So we are here at the main entrance, the lobby. We're gonna take a look inside. This looks like a museum from the inside. You have a lot of different things, ancient books, a collection of um, different pictures and also artifacts. So I'm just going to uh, give you a little tour. The front desk is right in front of me. So that's where you register um, and get your room. They also have guest services here. And then the whole place here looks like a museum. So there's a lot of ancient um, stuff that looks pretty old, very historic. We have this statue of the dragon right here um, on top of the bar. It looks very cute.
and also a lot of rest areas. So just, just spend some time to get a drink. So this is a reading room in case you want to read a book, in case you need some quiet time or you need to use the internet, you can come in here. They have two computers with internet access available here. So you can just log in and um, spend some time on a the computer. They also have a collection of books here. Most of them are in Spanish, but they also have some in English. So if you're looking to read a book, you can come here and take a look at what they have and the whole room is huge the windows are enormous and it's so spacious and so light so this is the other part of the lobby this is on the right is the place where all of the tour operators are located. So if you have any questions, if you wanna order any excursions or any trips, that's where you would normally go. Um, they also have a huge collection of butterflies here. And this whole other part of the lobby is pretty nice and pretty uh, pretty cool with the air conditioning on. It's one of the nicest lobbies I've ever been at. Um, really, really cool, really nice design and has a touch to it with like a historic thing. Um, here on the right, we are walking towards a concierge. With the concierge, you can book your PCR test. So this is where we booked the PCR test. And then to the right is the doctor's office. So um, to, to get your test done, to get your PCR test done, you are supposed to go to the doctor's office, which is right down the hall. So also, if you have any questions uh, about the hotel or about the locations, they have the guest service here. They can help you out right here. And they're also selling various cigars on site. They have a duty-free and a tax-free store on site. So if you're interested in any kinds of goods, any kinds of um, souvenirs, you can come to this shop. So I just wanted to show you the room, do a little room tour. I have the keys to the room. It has um, this access, so you just take your card here and then you get into the room. This is the outside, um, looks like this with a lot of palm trees and a lot of beauty right here. The room is fully air conditioned. Um, it's really nice to have this air, air breeze and um, the air conditioning is being controlled from this unit. So you just, um, you can adjust the temperature right now. It's 16 degrees and you can also adjust the speed. So it's very, uh, it's a very seamless experience here. As we come into the room, there is a lot of storage space on the left. So you can use this to store your belongings. There is also a safe here and a mini fr fridge. This fridge is being stoked with um, beer and soda and all the other drinks. 
I also have a small coffee machine here and um, some cups and water to make your coffee in the mornings. So as we come into the room, there's this huge king size bed with lots of pillows. I made some decorations for my birthday here. Uh, you have this huge plasma TV, but it only shows the Spanish films. Um, there's also more storage as we come in. And then there is this kind of a living room here with a desk and also a sofa and a very nice cozy armchair. Um, you also have pictures of the lighthouse here and just some history. So the whole hotel is, um, the theme of the hotel is as if it's a museum. So there is a lot of explanations, a lot of paintings around. Um, in the lobby, there is also a lot of um, ancient books, like older stuff, you know. So it, it also gives you like a very nice um, vibe of Portugal and the history and the culture. And then you can have a look at these amazing tiles on the floor. Um, they are also done in Portuguese style. So as we come into the balcony here, um, coming out just to take a look at the beautiful view. So our view is the pool and the ocean on the right side. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Um, a lot of stuff happening, a lot of activities here. And you also have this nice chair that I was filming earlier and the pool. also a bathroom in your room it's really nice the air is really cool as you close the window the air conditioner will resume working as we walk in here on the left we have our bathroom there's this huge mirror when you come in there are also two sinks which is pretty convenient um, on the left there is a bathtub um, we have the balloons in here and all around the place is this nice tile, the Portuguese style tiles. And here you have the shower, which is separated um, from the room. There is this nice little door that kind of um, shuts. And also you have a bathroom, right? You have a toilet right next to it. So a very spacious and a very convenient bathroom. Um, the room is pretty spacious, pretty light. You have a lot of space coming in and coming out and everything is designed to make your stay here more comfortable and uh, a lot more pleasant. So we're here on the main street just exiting the lobby and then on the left here we have the bus stop. So there's this small cute little shuttle bus that comes and takes you places. Um, you can catch a bus or you can just walk and have an exercise. On the left there is a duty-free, a tax and duty-free store. So if you need some kind of souvenirs, cigars or anything like that, if you forgot some um, suntan, sun lotion, anything you need is right there. And then on the right there are um, some restaurants. So the Sakura place is a fusion cuisine, it's more like a Japanese style. Route 66 is an American type diner. Um, they are all really good. The, sac the Sakura place you have to book in advance. Um, the others you can just walk in. So the dress code has to be very specific. Um, you are supposed to wear um, shirts, skirts or shorts or pants for men. Um, they don't allow you to walk in wearing a swimsuit, so make sure you bring some smart um, clothes so that you have them. Right here on the right is another restaurant. It is Italian cuisine, it's Dolce Vita, so they have Pasta, they have ravioli, um, Italian cuisine. It's really good. One of our favorite places. We came in here a couple of times. And then right next to it on the left is a steakhouse. It's the best steak. 
They have the best rebuy and um, just highly recommended that you try it. It's one of the most delicious steaks that we tried here. Here on the left they have the gym facility and also the spa center. So if you want to go to the spa, get a massage, this would be the best place to go to. And then right next to it is the coffee place. So we'd go there a couple times per day. They have cappuccino, they have um, espresso, americano, any type of coffee. They also have a wide selection of milk. So if you want to go for a dairy-free milk, you can ask for soy almond milk. And um, just a really nice place. It's called Mike's Coffee Shop. Again, here on the right, um, they have the Mexican restaurant. The cuisine is also really nice and very exotic. So is the margarita place. And then right next to it is the Blue Moon. It's a French restaurant specializing in fish. This place requires very smart dressing. Um, you cannot walk in wearing flip-flops or sandals. You have to wear shoes that are kind of um, closed. And also men have to wear pants. So you cannot come in wearing shorts. It's one of the strictest places that kind of um, requires smarter type of dressing. This is a shuttle bus uh, waiting at the stop and then people can just hop on or hop off. It has been raining for the past couple of minutes, so they are protecting every everybody inside. So we are here by the main pool. This is the main pool, the facility where the entertainment happens. And I have two cards here. Um, so these are the towel cards. You have to exchange them if you want to get your fresh towels every day. And this is the point that's called Toaleiro. So the place where you get your fresh towels, you just give them the cards and then you get the towels. So if in case you lose this card, the fine is going to be 20 US dollars. So make sure you keep your cards with you at all times and also keep the towels. the beautiful beach and we can see they clean the sand every single day making sure it's nice and smooth here and they have cleaned all the seaweed so we are now in September today is September 24th and the ocean is all clear and very nice and the water in the ocean is really warm so you have a lot of people going in for the swim it's currently 8 a.m. So the best time to come to the beach while the sun is not as strong and also the lighthouse here on the right and the whole beach here. So the beach area is pretty big. You have a lot of space to walk and you have a lot of space for swimming. Today the waves are moderate. They have the red flag on. Um, they also have a lifeguard on duty 
and in case something happens, the lifeguard will come in. We've seen it, we've seen it a couple times that the lifeguard was here to make sure that everyone was okay and um, make sure that um, nobody needed help. So we are here at El Mirador, which is the viewpoint to um, the highest point here of the hotel. So um, this lighthouse was originally built in Faro, Portugal, and they uh, had the idea of making the hotel in the Portuguese style and Portuguese uh, kind of uh, vibe. So we have the tiles in our room, which resembles um, the style of the era and the lighthouse was built in 1910 and we have a smaller um, copy of this lighthouse here which is the landmark of the hotel and the hotel was called the ocean al faro which is um, right on the name of of the of the viewpoint so um, basically a very symbolic place reminds you of portugal has this portuguese vibe to it and we'll come upstairs so there is an elevator for you to take and then you can come up and take the breathtaking view of the hotel as well as the ocean. So in a minute we'll come up and uh, we'll also put on our masks because it's COVID times and everybody is supposed to wear a mask in public places where you're faced with people. So let's go in. Right behind me is the snack bar if you are feeling hungry they have hot dogs they have burgers they have fast food so it's a snack before you take your meal um, it's halfway through the restaurant and halfway to the beach so a very convenient location if you are coming from the beach and you want to have a snack this is the best place to go so we have the ice cream place right behind me it open every day 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. It's our favorite thing to do right after the beach. We come along here and we get some good, some really nice ice cream uh, with lots of flavors here. Um, also, they have a lot of kids here running around. And this is the entertainment place where they have showtime in the evening. So they have various games, concerts, domino games. So if you are looking for things to do at night, this is the place to be. This is the main alley of the restaurants and the ice cream place is right behind me. And we're gonna go and get some ice cream now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 